Hi there, hello, how are you? I hope you're having an absolutely amazing, fantastic day. Do you wanna hear something exciting? I stretched out my ears to a one, I was at a two, and it was super duper easy, so I am going to stretch up to a zero in the next couple days. I'm excited. All right, so what are we doing today? I was, I debated back and forth and back and forth. I've actually had this package for a couple weeks, but I've decided that I should finally actually unbag it. So I generally don't do a negative review and I don't think that this will be an entirely negative review either. I didn't have an excellent experience with this brand and I was just kind of kind of brushed under the rug. The more I thought about it, the more like, kind of annoyed I was. It's a stoner apparel brand and it's two subscription bag boxes in here. And there's an entire story as to why two months of subscriptions would come at the same time. But before we get into that, we first have a word from today's sponsor, which is a perfect book because I'm talking to all you can of parents out there. This is a children's book called The Gumball Effect by Gregory and Thomas Newman, illustrated by Anthony Ricicci. This is a book that teaches like financial management, wealth growing to kids. If there's anything that you can teach your kids anything any bit of knowledge that you can pass down let it be financial responsibility and growth and this is a book that breaks it down Christy is a girl who starts making some money by selling lemonade on the streets but wants to be able to play more but in order to be able to play more she needs to sell more which is that catch-22 that even us adults usually find ourselves in so then what does she do she becomes an entrepreneur she ends up being able to make passive income, which is something that even a ton of us adults can't even do, making passive income, working less, and being able to play more. This is something that is broken down in a way that is almost like the light bulb just clicks in your head. I have two daughters, they're seven and nine, and I read this to them over breakfast. They wanted to open up a lemonade stand as soon as it got warm outside, and then they wanted to add on options for like hot chocolate, which does not make sense for the summer. But in order to keep it going throughout the fall, excellent idea. But they were able to connect that you do have to work hard to earn, but then you need to work smarter to earn more. It's a common complaint of parents that the schools don't teach our kids financial responsibility and growth. But here, we now have the tools in your own hand and it's available on Amazon. Of course, I'll have a link down below. Thank you very much, Gumball Effect, for sponsoring today's video. And it is very fitting because a lot of the clothes that are made, this is actually like Icana Mom. They're two sisters that own this company called Rainy Day Mamas. I've been following their Instagram, like the shop's Instagram, for a while and for probably probably like a year, a solid year. And they had some sale before Valentine's Day and I decided that it was finally going to be the moment. I needed to get something out of the Valentine's collection. It was this black hoodie with this um, red outline candy heart. It says, wanna session it. I did actually do that as a separate video because that was a bundle that I had added on. So on February 4th, I placed an order and I got this $50 bundle that was a hoodie, a t-shirt, and a pair of sweatpants. I've worn and washed the hoodie and the sweatpants actually a bunch of times. The hoodie is still absolute perfect, immaculate condition. Absolutely no pilling, it's very comfortable the pattern hasn't faded or crinkled up or anything and I and I've washed it like normally normal washing machine normal dry not like trying to take care of it on purpose because if it can't survive normal washing then it was too weak for this household so it has held up great the sweatpants have also held up really great my only complaint is that I got the size that does fit me except the waist is really tight and I have a very small waist like I wear generally a size extra small to small I'm in like a size two and I even debated on getting the extra small but I think they were an inch shorter. So I wanted to get the small for the length and it had a drawstring. So I figured whatever, I could just tighten it up. It is uncomfortably tight. Like I have to pull the waistband, but I freaking love them. So I wear them all the time, but I wear them uncomfortably. And I've debated like cutting it somehow that would make them still useful, but like give me a little bit more space. I don't know how that would work. Well, at the same time on February 4th, I ordered the subscription box. It was called the Normalize Cannabis box and it was I think $25 you had I also had to pay taxes and shipping my entire order I think was $87 and change you can get it just as a one-time purchase and not subscribe but I did end up subscribing because I wanted to get it for April and I thought that I you know Let's try it out for a couple months. So there are two levels, the $25 level and the $50 level. What you get at each level, and I got the $25 box. I was going to upgrade to the $50 one once I unbagged this and could see like what the difference is, you know, to just kind of compare. But in the $25 one, you're supposed to get two exclusive t-shirts, surprise munchies, and an exclusive discount. So maybe this is, I feel like there's a lot more in here than just four t-shirts. The $50 box has all of that, plus a featured shop mystery gift, a can of friendly accessory, and a lighter. So um, it doesn't say that the exclusive discount is anymore. I think that's just those three. But 
where the drama in it, I hate to say drama because it feels very immature, honestly. So the thing that happened to my package, the thing that I opened up in another video was just the bundle that I had purchased, the three pieces, but it said the subscription box would be shipped separately. So I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting some more. So in mid-March, when it had been about a month and a half since I had originally been charged, I hadn't seen the February box and I really wanted that one because I figured it would be Valentine's themed. Um, I felt like maybe I missed out. So I ended up um, submitting a contact form on their website. It was like mid-March, probably March 18th or 19th. And I never heard anything back from them. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll go on their Instagram and DM them. And so I shot her a little message on March 21st, like, hey, I got some questions about my order. I already submitted a contact form. Nobody's reached out to me, like help please basically. And on the next day, which th th I don't have an issue with that at all. The next day she ended up reaching out to me and saying, hi, I think we're having issues with the contact form. I see you have one of our boxes. I might have missed sending you yours. So I will go ahead and send both boxes out today. And that was on March 22nd. And then I ended up messaging back because I, um, I'm starting to do this thing where I'm, I'm saying how I feel so that other people know because that's the respectable thing to do is to give somebody the feedback on how you feel. I don't want somebody that's mad at me to not tell me that they're mad at me. So I was just honest in my response and I said, okay, thank you, I'll be honest. I'm bummed I didn't get either of them when I was supposed to. It was not feeling great from the customer side of things to get promotional text while I tried reaching out and getting no responses for the issue and getting charged again while still missing the first box. So I'm on their text list which is a way that you can save 28% on your very first order. And I had been getting like promo after promo after promo, but like my box just wasn't showing up. It was just a really bad feeling, you know? I said also the approximate two to three week turnaround time on products, because it did say two to three weeks from date of order, 13 to 15 days actually, that you would uh, see your product. But in the email that you get after you order, it says two to three weeks. So when I got my initial bundle, it had actually taken five weeks to get that even shipped out to me and then I didn't get it for another week later. So I didn't even get the bundle that I had ordered separately for a month and a half and I should have had it in three weeks. It was just, that's just, it's honestly, it's far too long. So I said it took five weeks for part of my order to arrive. I just wanna be upfront about my perception of your brand as a customer. I felt overpromised and under delivered. I got no response at all from that. That was on March 22nd. I have this app called Shop that tracks like a ton of your packages and especially anything that dumps into your email boxes. And uh, I hadn't gotten any notice notification for it. And even if it went to spam, it would still pop up in this app. So then five days later, I still hadn't received anything. I made sure to DM them. I still haven't received shipment notica notification of my two boxes. Would you rather just cancel and refund? My biggest issue I think with it honestly was just that uh, they didn't take accountability. And I'm really into accountability and I expect somebody to own up to that. And I I didn't want anything extra. I just expected accountability, I guess. I think there is potentially more in here though. I don't understand. It's not bagged separately from one another. So I think that I have to guess which one goes with which. It is, I don't know if this is. I don't know entirely what I have, so I'm gonna have to reach out to them and figure it out. Everything appears to be in my size. I ordered a size small in everything. However, the box said that it was going to come with two exclusive t-shirts. There are two t-shirts in here. So we have this one. This is kind of like an Etsy-ish type of shop, but they have their own site. And each of the pieces may be from a different brand. So this one's Hanes. The other t-shirt is a Gildan. This one says cannabis. The glue holding the whole shit show together. It'll probably be, I don't wear a lot of t-shirts. I honestly, I hate wearing t-shirts but um I was planning on them being like my cute pajamas and then this other one says wanna smoke me out and it has a cat and little red pot leaves that are supposed to be probably like little kisses or hearts that one's cute too that one's also a small and then that's it for the t-shirts so the second bag the second box with the two t-shirts there's also no snacks in here and there's also no um, additional information as to that exclusive discount so <laughs> I honestly, I just, I don't know. This is probably one of my most confusing um, experiences with a, with a company. I'm really liking this. So we got this hoodie here. It says Terps, talk Terps to me. And it has like little pot leaves in between um, or inside of each of the letters. And I really like this color. I've kind of really been digging this and wanting to get a sweatshirt like that. And, but this one's in a medium. I feel like this is not mine. I'm not gonna try it on until I know 
for a fact that it is actually my order. Here's another one though. Maybe I'm just showing you some, some options that they have on their website. This is in a size small and it says support women in weed and it's dark, like a really dark green. That's super cute too. You know what this kind of looks like? It kind of looks like two of the bundles. No because then I would have two pairs of joggers. So here's a crew neck. It says, it's a beautiful day to get high and just a, a red dash line across it. Nothing is screaming out to me Valentine's. Like I was kind of expecting um, the, the vibe of the box to be themed for that month, but it does not promise that. But I was kind of expecting it to, to sort of be along those lines. And then we have a pair of um, sweatpants, which these ones, maybe I'll like them more. I think they're a different brand. They're gray joggers. And then they say just a little baked and like a cursive font on the side. Yeah. So I guess, oh God, I guess in ending this video, I'm confused. I'm still confused. Who knows? Well, I guess that is it. That's everything that I have for you all today. Thank you so damn much for hanging out. Thank you to the gumball effect, Gregory and Thomas Newman and Anthony Ricci. I think he also had a part in, in me getting this book. They did so kindly give me extra. So I was able to give it to all of my nibblings, to the teachers, to the library. We have it in the, um, the local park, uh, reading nook thing. It's an excellent book. Okay. Also a huge shout out to all my patrons for making videos like this possible and to you for being here. Consider hitting subscribe before you leave. Love you so damn much. I'll see you next time. Bye.